The, the bodega in the Bronx where police say gang members killed a 15-year-old is now in the process of being sold. Yeah, the new owners plan to reopen, but some people in the neighborhood are pushing back. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is live with the story. Marcus? Well, Charlene, Dave, that bodega has been closed since the incident in June, and it is still under police guard. The owner uh, had been receiving some death threats ever since that incident. But now the sign is gone, and there is new ownership on the way. This morning, a changing of the guard. Ownership signs taken down from what could be the most notorious bodega in the city. The store on East 183rd Street and Bathgate Avenue was the scene of a vicious crime, the stabbing death of Lissandro Guzman Feliz. It's been the focal point of a community's pain and the target of anger directed at the owner of the establishment. Now comes word Modesto Cruz is selling the business. The reaction, according to a family friend, is rather lukewarm. Well, it's like she said. She said everybody has to make a living. And if they open it up, uh, it is what it is. Cruz was the subject of death threats by some who felt he didn't do enough to help protect the teen known as Junior from the angry gang that ultimately pulled him from the store and stabbed and hacked at him with a machete. Junior was the victim of mistaken identity, and the store owner maintains he called 911 for help. The bodega has been closed since, and it's unclear whether it will open again as a corner store. But the family says an appropriate use would be a church. We need to get that back into the communities. We need to get these churches out here and talk to the youths, uh, do programs for them also. Don't, don't, leave it, don't leave it up to the parents alone. Well, it is unclear exactly who will be taking over the store. Uh, Junior's mother says that an offer was made to have the new bodega named in honor of Junior, but family says they have no interest in that.